hey hey beautiful and amazing creators welcome back to the channel so today i want to create this milk made top and um i'm going to be making this particular tutorial beginner friendly we're gonna go through every step together so please pay good attention to everything i'm going to be doing okay so the first thing we need to do or the first thing i am going to do is grab my pattern paper which is here i'm using a cardboard paper for this tutorial so you can use any kind of paper for your um for your creation to create this particular top you can use any kind of pattern paper but then uh i have my cardboard paper here and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my cardboard paper into two equal parts okay so that should be the first thing you do fold your cardboard paper or your pattern paper into two equal parts like i'm doing right now so why i am doing this is because i want to know the middle point of this paper so i can mark the front and the back together okay So I folded this into two equal parts and now I have the middle points here. So I'm just making it flat. So when I open, I have the middle line here. So I'll go ahead and rule out that middle line. Now I have the middle line here, the marketing the front and the back the next thing we should do is mark down one inch from the top of the pattern paper okay so I'm going to go ahead and use my tape to mark down one inch from the top of the pattern paper Okay, so this is why we demarcated the pattern. Here is going to be for the front and here is going to be for the back. Okay, so front and back. Okay, so now that is done, we're gonna move, we're gonna move on to the next step. All the measurements we're going to be marking is going to be from this line. This line here is going to be acting as a starting line, which is the shoulder line. Okay, so I'm going to divide my shoulder measurement into two and mark this down here. Now, the measurements you need are going to be on the screen. So look at what I'm doing, all the measurements I'm taking on the screen. And take yours on your own body and mark this down on your pattern paper, okay? My shoulder measurement is 15. I'm going to hold on to the point here, which is 15. I'll fold my tip into two. So 15 divided by two gives you 7.5. So I'm going to mark 7.5 from this open edge here at the front from here. And on the top here, I'll mark 7.5 from this point here in. That, you, that should be what you're doing as a beginner. Just follow my step. Okay. This is the shoulder. Now, from this point here where we have the shoulder measurement, I'm going to mark one inch down for the slope. Okay, so you should mark that to go down by one inch for your slope. The next thing we're going to do is, from this point here, I'm going to mark 3.5 inches for my neck width, okay? For the neck width, I'll go in by 3.5 and I'll mark this down here.
And once I have the 3.5 inches down, now I can connect this point here to this point. And that is it for this part. So this is the neck width. And for the neck width, and this is the slope. Okay? Hope you got that part. Now the next thing we're going to do is divide the run armhole by two and mark that down from this point, okay? My run armhole is 16. I'll divide 16 by two. This is 16. I'll hold on to the point 16. Fold my tape into two like this. And 16 divided by two gives you eight inches. Now I mark eight inches from the slope down. So before I connect this with a straight line, I'm going to confirm that the measurement I have from here to here as my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5, is the same width I have from here to here. So they have to correspond, okay? I'm just going to confirm that measurement, 7.5. And I am off a little bit by just a point. I'll just adjust that back. And now I'll connect this point here to this point. And then rule a horizontal line here. Okay, so this is where the armhole measurement will be sitting. Now, moving on, the next thing we're going to do is mark the actual vertical measurement. And the first measurement I'm going to be marking on the pattern paper is the bust point. To do that, I'm going to place my tape from the starting line, which is the shoulder line, this line here. And then I'll go down by 10 inches. That is my bust point. So now, to take your bust point, the measurement is going to be on the screen. Please go ahead and take your own boss points and mark this down on your pattern paper, okay? So this here is my boss points, okay? The next point we're going to be marking is the underboss point. I'm going to be marking this from the starting line down. You place your tape from the starting line, which is the shoulder line. Go down and mark your underboss point. This here is my under bust point. Okay, moving on. The next point I'm going to be marking is my waist point or my um, length. Okay, so the length is going to be acting as the waist point. And for this top, because it's a crop top, it, like it's kind of a crop top, it's not like a full length top, I'm going to be using 17 inches as the length of my top. So that's what I'm going to be marking, 17 inches. And to do this, I'm going to place my tape from the starting line and go down by 17 inches as my waist line. So this is the waist or the length. Now, once we're done with that step, the next thing we're going to do is mark the darts. And to do this, to get your darts, you have to mark your apex point, which is your nipple to nipple. 
So I am going to divide my nipple to nipple by two, and then I'll mark this down on the pattern paper. I'm going to mark this down on the boss point. I'll mark this down on the under boss point and also on the waist. So my nipple to nipple is eight. Divided by two gives you four. So I'll mark four inches from here. From the edge, I'll go in by four. So this is the apex line. Okay, this is the apex line and we're done with that. The next we're going to do is take the darts, okay? And to take the darts, I am going to be marking one inch in on the waist point. From this apex line, I'll go in here by one inch and I'll go in here by one inch. So this is how you pick your darts. And what we're trying to do is create a 3D on the pattern paper. So this particular um, pattern or this particular top we're going to be creating fits the body properly, okay? So now I have my one inch here and my one inch here on the waistline. That is where I marked one inch and one inch, making it two inches. I'll move to the boss point here. I'll come down by one inch. So I'm coming down on the apex line. That's where I'm coming down by one inch. So once I have that, I can connect this one inch that I came down on on the boss line. I'll connect this to this point here and I'll connect this to this point. Now this is called your dart legs. And this is how you pick your dart legs. So if you're a beginner and you're paying really close attention to what I'm doing, trust me, you're going to get this right and you're going to understand all the process, okay? The, post, the purpose of this video uh, for us to create the pattern together is for you to understand how to do this without watching my videos so this is what i have for my dad so here is the dad and we're done with this side okay so now before we go ahead and start adjusting this pattern to get the cups let's go ahead and mark the middle point of the ample and create the cup for the ample because we're going to be i'm going to be using that to create my off shoulder okay so Let's go ahead and do that. Now, on the armhole here, from the slope to the armhole point, I'll place my tape and divide what I have there by two to get the middle point. So, I have eight inches. I'll fold my tape into two because I'm trying to divide by two. And now I have the middle point. Now from the middle point, I'll go in by 0 0.75. I'm just trying to create the curve and this is how I create it. Now, see the way I place my tape going in by 0 0.75. I make sure that my tape is straight from the middle point and I marked in 0 0.75. Now I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect. But before then, I will divide my round bust, this bust here, my round bust, I will divide it by four. And I'll mark measurements here on my armhole. So my round bust is 36, divided by four gives you nine. I'm just going to mark nine here on the armhole line. Now I, I can use my curve to connect this point here to this point with the curve. So if you don't have a cobula, that is not a biggie. You can do this with your free hand. Just make sure you get a curve from this point to this point, okay? Okay, get a curve. And now I'll use straight to relax connect to the middle point here or the 0 0.75 here to this point. Okay, let me just write 0 0.75 to this point. And um, we are done.
So let's go ahead and start adjusting the pattern to get a curve. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do towards that purpose is to go to my underboss point here. This is my underboss line. I'm going to mark one inch up from the underboss, from the center front of the underboss. I'll mark one inch up. Now I can use my I can use my curve ruler to connect the one inch to this point here, to this dart leg here, to so here to here. I'm connecting with a curve. You don't necessarily need a curve ruler, okay? Please do not stop creating this pattern because you don't have a curve ruler. You can do this without a curve ruler. Just make sure you get a curve from here. To this point here okay from here to this point here and this here is one inch one inch okay and like i said here is the center front so i level that cf okay please do not get confused okay do not get confused now we have this part here sorted out we're done with this particular side here the next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'll move over to the armhole here, this curve here, and I'm just going to mark 2.5 inches from this point here to this point. I'll mark 2.5 inches. And what I'm trying to do is create my off shoulder, okay? This top we're creating is an off shoulder top, so I'm marking 2.5 inches, see? From this point to this point, 2.5. Now, at this point here where I have the 2.5, okay, 2.5, I'm going to mark 0 0.75 inch in. So make sure your line is straight from that point, 0 0.75. Here. Here is also 0 0.75. Please do not forget, okay? So I have 0 0.75 from here. Make sure it's on a straight line. Let me confirm again. Now that is done, I'll come to this point here. Here. I'll mark down half inch. I'm just trying to adjust this so it fits me properly, okay? I'll mark half inch down. Half inch is 0 0.5. That's what I marked down from this point, okay? Where we have the round balls divided by four. That's what I marked. I came down to mark. This is now our new armhole line. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to mark from here. I'm going to mark half inch in. I'm just going to mark half inch on this point, okay? See where my tape is. So what I'm assuming is this line is down here. And I'm just going to go in by half inch. Now I can use my curve ruler to connect these two points together. From here to here. So I have the curve here, stop in here, and now I can use my curve ruler also to go from this dart leg to this point, okay? From this part here on the underboss, this part here, from here, this dart leg here, I'll connect to this half inch I marked here, okay? So here is half inch from here, which is me assuming that this line came down and I just marked half inch on the armhole so it's like going 0 0.75 from this point here to this point okay and i brought it down please do not get that confused and now i'll use my cover to connect this dark leg to this point okay 
I hope you all got this part. Really, really important to get this part, okay? So now I have this done. I have created my side cup. We're going to still slash and spread this, okay? So this is like my side cup. And um, the next thing I'll do is for my bust point here, this part from the center point of my bust point, I'll go up by two inches. And um, this is my chest. This is going to be like the chest line for this top. So I'll just mark two inches up. So on this part, it depends on how much coverage you want. Okay, so if you have bigger bust, you want to mark three inches on the armhole, like from this point here, go up by three inches. And then from that three inches, mark your 0 0.5 inch in and create this curve to get that coverage you want. But then what we're trying to create, the coverage on the top is not too much. Okay, so that is what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the perfect coverage I want for the top. And now I'll connect this two inches to this point. And we are kind of done, okay? We're just going to divide our round measurements by four and mark it. So here we go. So this is the cup. I marked two inches here upwards from the bust. Two inches. And you guys, let's go ahead and divide um, the round measurements by four. That is the next step. So the first measurement we're going to be dividing by four is the bust point, which we already have the measurements here, but we're just going to go ahead and do it again. So I'll divide my bust, uh, my round bust by four and mark it down on the bust line. So you can see that this is the same line we have here. So I'll just connect. The next is the underboss. I'll divide my round underboss by four and I'll mark it on the underboss line. My round underboss divided by four is eight. And I'm going to replace the dart, okay? It is very, very necessary you replace your dart so you don't um, run short. It is just how it is. You always have to replace your dart. So what I have here is one inch. I'll replace one inch back. And then I'll connect. Now the next thing now is to divide the round waist by four and mark this down on the waistline. Also not forgetting to replace the darts. My round waist divided by four gives you 7.5. And replacing my darts, one inch, one inch gives you two inches. Let's confirm that. So I have two inches here. I'll replace that here. then connect okay so here is the center front here is the side front and we are done now what we're going to do is add one inch one inch one inch and this is just the allowance for sewing now, if you don't want to add your allowance at this point, you can stop, go ahead and cut out your pattern. But then it is necessary you do this so you don't forget. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add one inch allowance on all points, starting from this point here. One inch. One inch. One inch. You can also go ahead and add your one inch down here if you want, or half an inch. Depends on what you want to do. So let me go ahead and add that. I'm going to be adding one inch for hemming and any other thing that was going to be happening or joining to the lining.
it's actually not necessary but yeah you can do it now i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this pattern because we're done please note everything we did okay it is important Now please take note of what I'm doing right now. When I get to this point here, I'm going to go like this, okay? So because we're not going to be cutting this cup, like we're going to be spreading this cup, it's a different type of pattern. Um, so please note that you are not going to cut this that here connecting to the bust. We are just going to get to this point and you know go in from this one inch okay okay so this is what i mean we're cutting out this point wow shit we're cutting out this whole point minus this point here so Okay, so um, once I was done cutting this out, this is what I have. I have three patterns for the front. I have the center front, I have the side front, and then I have the cup. Now we're gonna go ahead to slash and spread the cup. But before then, let's draft out the back pattern, okay? And then we'll come back to slashing and spreading the cup so that we can get the amount of rouge that we see on the top. So make sure that your pattern is looking exactly like what I have here, okay? You see this that was not cut off. Make sure you don't cut yours. Because we're going to be slashing and spreading this so you don't need to cut out your darts. But that is it on the front pattern. I'm just going to keep this aside and we'll be back to this, okay? This is the back... Um, pattern and as you can see i've gone ahead to i've gone ahead to draft out the back a little bit not totally i we're going to do the rest together but i just want you guys to see what i have here now you see i went ahead to mark my neckline let me look at this so you don't get confused so this is the neck just the way we did for the front this is the slope this is the shoulder measurement here at this point shoulder okay so from the shoulder we got the slope and then we have the armhole here so once i have the armhole i've not created the armhole curve we're going to do that together but then now i have the boss point here i have my under boss point here i have the length which is also the waist so what i have here is exactly what we did for the front but then I did this off the camera so that I don't take too much of your time. So just go ahead and duplicate what you did for the front without the um, that and without the arm hook of, And we're just going to continue from that point. Okay. So, so if you have this done, let's go ahead and start creating the back pattern. And to do this, we're going to mark the middle point of this um armhole so you place your tape from the slope just the same way we did for the front you divide into two by folding your tape like this and you mark the middle point now once you have the middle point we we'll go in by 0 0.5 inch here 0 0.5 inch and then we're just going to mark that let me use the blue marker so 0 0.5 inch here so you guys remember what we did when we divided the round boss by four and marked it on the armhole we're going to be doing the same thing for this 
back. So I'm going to mark my round balls divided by four on the armhole line like this. And then use my curve to connect the middle point here, which is the 0 0.5, okay, to this point with a curve ruler. And like I mentioned before, you don't need a curve ruler for this. You don't necessarily need a curve ruler for this. If you don't have a curve ruler, please let that not be your excuse for not creating this, okay? Don't use that as an excuse. You can actually get this curve without using a curve ruler, okay? So just be resourceful. Okay, so this is the back armhole curve. The next thing we're going to do is mark out the darts, okay? So what we did on the front, we divided the nipple to nipple by two, and we marked that down on this point, the boss, the under boss, and the waist. So we're going to do the same. My nipple to nipple is eight inches divided by two gives you four. So I'm going to mark four from here, the center back to this point. Okay. So this is my apex line. Connect to get a straight line before we mark the dart. So this is the apex. So you guys note that this, what we're creating is going to have a zip. So I'm going to later um, attach an extra pattern once I'm done drafting to get the zip. Okay, so that's, I just want us to draft out this first, then we'll create the zip, okay? You can either create it now on the pattern or while cutting on the fabric, we'll add the one inch for the zip, but let's go ahead, okay? So now I have the apex line. Uh, I'm going to extend this ample line out to this point because the dust that we're going to be marking is going to get to that point. So I'm just going to extend it. I think the extension is not... Okay. This is the extension. And then take the apex line up. Okay, so we extended the armhole line and now we're going to mark the darts. So for the darts, like I did for the front, I'm going to do the same thing for the center back. I'm going to mark one inch here, one inch here for the darts on the waistline, which is the length. So I'll go in here by one inch and then I'll go in here by one inch. Now you can decide to use, um, you can decide to use half inch for the back it doesn't really matter so but i'm using one inch because i'm going to be replacing that same amount back okay so now on the armhole line here i'm going to mark half inch down not on the boss remember for the front we marked one inch down for the that we came down on the boss line but this is the back so what we're going to be doing is on the armhole we're going to come down by half inch Okay, now this half inch we have here, we connect this to the one inch here and one inch here, okay, just the way we did for the front, like this, like this. Now, please take note of what I'm doing. I started to change the marker so you see that what we're doing right now is different from what we did before. So, this and this, okay, so this is... This point here is 0 0.5, which is half inch. And this is what we have. So once we have this, we have to go ahead and create the off shoulder armhole just the way we did for the front. And remember what we did, right? We're gonna go up here from this curve. We'll go up here by 2.5, up on the curve like this. Okay, here. Sorry, 2.5. Okay. Now, this 2.5 we have here. We're going to mark 0 0.75 in. Just the way we did for the front. We're going to be adjusting just exactly the same way we did. So, I'll mark 0 0.75 in from that point. Okay, it has to be on the straight line. 
So here is my 0 0.75. Okay, and here to come down just the same way we did by half an inch. So there is no need for um, marking this. Um, there's no need for us to mark half an inch here. Like there's no need. We're just gonna create the curve from this point. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. Or you can still come in by the half inch and create your curve, but it doesn't really matter. So what we just did is just adjust this to the off shoulder. So you can just mark your half inch and connect, but it doesn't really matter, okay? Be careful how you do this. So the curve did not really curve the way I wanted it to curve. But yeah, you can always go ahead and adjust, okay? You have that option to always adjust. And I'm just going to connect from the armhole here to this point, okay? But then I actually want this to be, I want it to be deep. Let's just do that. Okay, so this is what I have. And um, like I said, if you want it to be deeper than this, you can come in here and so let me do that because that's what I want, okay? I want mine to be deep, so you can do this. This is option one. Option one, you can do this. But then I want mine to be deep, so I'm just going to mark half inch up from the boss line. So this is the boss line. I'll mark half inch up. And then I'm just going to connect. Using my black marker. So this is option one and this is option two. So this is what I want. Make it a little bit curvy. just want my back to be down okay that is why i'm trying to do this adjustment okay so um i know if you're a beginner you're going to be wondering what i'm trying to do and you're going to be a little bit confused but please don't be confused okay um if you do this option one it is correct if you do this option two it is correct but then whatever you decide to do is going to be correct okay but yeah that is essentially it now drafting out a pattern is just for you to be creative okay it's just for you to you know look at the pattern and just do exactly what you want to see okay that is one thing about creating pattern so you can just create and then be creative and adjust just the way you want it to be but then once we're done with this we're done with creating the armhole and getting how deep the back will be I'm just going to go ahead and divide my round boss by four and mark that on my boss line. Okay. Now, we're going to be replacing the darts we have here. You can see that there is a dart here, right? On the boss. When we were creating for the front, there was no darts. But then here, there is a dart to be replaced and it's just less. Quarter and a point. So, replace that back quarter and a point quarter and a point it's going to go up here so now divide the underboss by four and mark this down also just the same way we did for the front my underboss is eight replacing my dad's I have one inch here. I have one, one and I have one and quarter inch, so I'll place one and quarter inch here. Connect. Okay. 
okay now waste divided by four and replace your dot so divide your round waist by four my round waist is 7.5 and the dot i have here is two inches i'm just going to replace that back and then connect so this is it Now what we're going to do next is just add the allowance we added for the front and that is one inch so i'm just going to use my black marker to do that one inch total one inch one inch everywhere one inch one inch one inch yeah so this is the center back this is the side back and we're going to be adding the zip allowance at the center back here so because i don't want to confuse you so let me just um indicate that here here add zip okay let's go ahead and cut Okay, you guys, I forgot to tell you that while cutting out my front pattern, I took off the allowance I added because I want to add that on the fabric. Okay, when I'm drafting out the fabric, that's when I want to add my allowance. So I took out that one inch. So I'm not going to be adding one inch at the base. I'll do that when I'm cutting on the fabric. Okay, it's actually really easier to do that on the fabric than on the pattern after marking out your dart. So please do not forget, as you're watching this, just go ahead and like this video, okay? If you're watching this video and it's really helpful to you and it's really easy for you to understand, please go ahead and like, okay? So like I said, any of this is going to be fine. You can even decide to come lower than this most people go lower okay so you can try to come lower than this but yeah this is what i'm going to use i'm going to be using this particular line that i came down by this um line so you can try to use this okay you're not going to be wrong you can try to use this option okay you're not going to be wrong so any of them is good So this is the back you can see this is it it's very correct and this is the front so i'll keep my patterns this is the rest aside and let's work on this one So to get my slash and spread for the front, I'm going to mark 1.5 inch apart. So 1.5 inch in apart so I can slash this, okay? Okay, so here is one. Please go ahead and label out your pattern before cutting out your slash, okay? Please label it out so you know how to fix it back together. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Okay, so now we're going to spread this particular pattern to get the bush. Hope that was easy. So I'm going to get a new pattern paper. I fold this into two to get a middle line.
okay so this is my middle line i'll roll that out so it is visible to everybody so this is the middle line and um this line here is going to be acting as the bust line okay bust line and now we're going to use the bust line to spread this particular pattern okay using my tape the first I'll, I'll be putting down is the front the number one so i'm going to put down the number one here i'll just give a little bit of space because i will be adding allowance for folding okay so i'm just gonna make sure that the red line here which is the bust line aligns okay you guys remember that the bust line is the line that we have visible here the red line so i'll make sure the red line aligns with my black line okay and then i'll use my tape to hold it down okay so number one is carefully put i'm going to mark three inches apart and that should do it three inches apart should do it and on these three inches i'll be placing my number two making sure the red line this red line aligns okay that is what we're using to spread So number two is carefully put the next is going to be number three and we're going to mark three inches apart before placing the number three so three inches if you're really passionate about this do not say anything is hard or anything is or not understandable because that's not true if you really want to understand anything you can okay you just have to put your mind into it okay so do not feel like any of this process is difficult Okay, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I am always available to answer your questions, okay? So yeah, once we are done, go ahead and use your marker or your pen to trace this out, okay? Just follow the line. So the last and not the least step is for us to add half an inch for we're going to be folding this to create a channel for to pass our straps and then we're going to be joining this to the down part so we're going to add half an inch here half an inch here half an inch here and that is it okay so I'm going to cut this out. So this is the front. This is how the front pattern looks. We're going to be ruching this all together. Okay. Now, once we're done with this, the next thing we're going to do is the zip. The center back, we're going to be adding one inch zip allowance. And that is it for this video, okay? And now this is the center back, and you can see I would add zip, okay? And the zip, the allowance of zip we're going to be adding is one inch. So I'm just going to place it like this and use my tape to hold this down. So 
now I can add my zip that is one inch And this here is one inch zip okay and we are done i appreciate you for watching i appreciate that you're liking this video right now that i'm talking go ahead and like okay and yeah that is it um i'll see you guys on the sewing version bye for now